Hi everyone, welcome to Kitu Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can add a reading progress bar to your WordPress website. So reading progress bar helps user to retain on the website for longer time and it will also show the estimate reading time. So let's check how you can implement this in your WordPress website. So for this we are going to use a plugin called read meter, reading time and progress bar. So you have to first install this plugin. So let me just go to WordPress dashboard and let me just go to plugin and click on add new. Now here I have to search for read meter. Now you will see a plugin like read meter, reading time and progress bar. So just install this plugin. So this plugin is developed by brainstorm force. So this is the same company which made the Astra theme. So it is a very trusted plugin. So let's activate this plugin first. Now let's scroll down and search for the plugin read meter. So I will go to settings and click on read meter. This is how the read meter dashboard looks like and here you will see option like select post type. So by default is set to post. So if you want to display the reading progress bar in pages, then you can select the pages option here. So the next setting is word per minute. So average user read about 275 words per minute. So if you want to change the words, then you can change it here so that it will change the estimated reading time according to the word set here and you can also include comments or include image so that it will change the estimated reading time according to the page. So let's click on read time here and here you will see an option like estimated read time. So by default it is set to single post and you can also show estimated reading time in home page or archive page but I don't think you should click on here and the next option is read time position. So here you can select this option like above the content, above the post title or below the post title. So I will select below the post title. So it will show a word like reading time and it will show the time in minutes. And you can also control the font size of that word and you can also adjust the padding and margin color, background color and the text color. So let me just save it first. Now let's click on progress bar here. And here you will see this option display position. So let me just click on here and I will select top of the page and you can also select bottom of the page and here you will see a style option like normal and gradient. So if you want to show a normal reading progress bar then you can select the normal or you can select a gradient one like this and you can also adjust the bar thickness. So let me just adjust the bar thickness to like 8 pixel and let me just save the settings. Okay, now let me just go to the front end and open a blog post. So as you can see, there is a reading progress bar showing at the top of the page and when I scroll down, the reading progress bar will show and when I stop scrolling the page, it will fade the reading progress bar. So in this way, you can add a reading progress bar to your WordPress website. And you can also change the color and the thickness by going to the settings and here you can change the background color. Here you can change the primary and secondary color of the gradient and you can change the bar thickness. And if you don't want to show the estimated reading time to all of the blog posts, then you can use a short code to insert the estimated reading time. So if I go to getting started and here I will copy the short code from here and I will go to the blog post. And suppose I want to add the estimated reading time here. So I will click on plus and I will search for the short code block and I will paste that short code. And let me just update the blog post. Now let me just view the blog post again and let's scroll down as you can see it will show the estimated reading times. So in this way, you can use the short code to show the estimated reading times. So I hope you got the idea how to add a reading progress bar to your WordPress website. And if you want to use some other plugins, then I will leave the link in the description so you can check out that plugins. 
so if you like this content then make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe key to blogging for more upcoming videos like this and i will see you in the next video thank you